So for today, we're going to be looking at the Root of Nightmares armor set. I finally got all the pieces from the raid and man, we're going to be looking at how the armor looks, my personal thoughts on it. We're going to be looking at some cool interactions that this armor has. We're going to also be looking at the shader situation and we're actually going to be adding a new segment where I'm actually going to be going in game and showing you like some thoughts that I have about the armor set uh, on the fly. Nothing too crazy, but uh, just because I did get an end up getting a comment where some person was like i wish i missed the old way you used to uh review the armor and i kind of i kind of understand that because we did go through each individual piece and like i would actually go in like in depth of like what i would do with them so that's why i want to add the new segment so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe let me know if you guys like the new format because going forward i might do this for all the armor sets that we review but yeah let's look at this armor so for each of the armor sets, they all have a different name. For the Hunters, it's Bite of Trepidation. Warlocks, it's going to be Breath of Detestation. And then uh, Titans, it's going to be Palette of Agony. I definitely think these names are super dope. Unfortunately, I do not like this armor set. Now, granted, I do think there's pieces of this set that are going to be super dope. And that is for all the classes. I think each class has really cool pieces. Just as a whole, it just looks really bad. So let's just start off with the hunter first hunters. Let me, let me just point out this real quick. And I know a lot of hunters are going to really appreciate this, but the cloak, uh, as terrible as it is personally, I don't like it. It actually does have a really cool interaction with helmets that take off your hood. So essentially the only cloak that I know of that took off the whole cloak and you had nothing there was the Legatus cloak from season of the chosen, specifically the season pass ornaments. This, this cloak actually takes off all of it. So fortunately for those who missed out for the, of the Legatus cloak, this armor set, you can actually just use this cloak instead and it'll take off that hood. So I know a lot of people were asking for that because the Legatus cloak is the only cloak that takes off the everything. There is no cloak at all. So that, I think that's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. So bite of trepidation cloak, you're definitely going to want to pick up because again, it takes off the whole thing. Now, unfortunately, if you don't take the cloak off, I think it looks terrible. Let's let's look at the cloak real quick. It, the hat, the hat thing on the top, that's part of the cloak. The wings at the back, it, that's part of the cloak. Obviously, the like membrane thing that's different glows, that's gonna be the cloak as well. Even some of the pieces in the front of the chest piece is gonna be some parts that is the cloak. Overall, I think this is the worst cloak in the game. I know some people are like, this is dope. I definitely think they're memeing or I don't know. I just, okay. So like before we get into the whole armor set again, I'm going to be real with you guys. I think this armor is trash. A lot of it is trash. I understand the inspiration. I understand why they designed it this way, but if you guys wanted to do like disciples, disciple armor, I think there are, there are so many better ways to do it than just we read a Cthulhu book once call it Cthulhu and we just went with it. That's kind of the vibe I get. I get uh, hunters helmet and the arms are definitely going to be the dopest pieces from this whole set. I think the helmet is super cool. Unfortunately, it has some red glow that doesn't change color. Other than that, it's super cool. The crystals on each of the chest pieces or in all the classes actually do change glows in a really weird way. Now, specifically like photo finish, it does change colors and I'll show you guys when we look at the shaders. But again, for the hunters, helmet and cloak are going to be the best pieces from this whole set. I don't like the chest piece. It's very, very specific. It's very hard to like pull off a look for it. Um, for those of you who've done it, that that's dope. I, that's cool for you. I personally, I only used a, the helmet, the arms and the boots for the individual pieces because I just did not really like the cloak. I hate the cloak actually. And the chest piece, I was just finding it too, too hard. And I was like, I don't want to fight this. I don't want to just. I'll do these three and add, that's it. As for the Titans, I think the helmet is pretty cool. I actually really do like it. People are probably going to use that in like a high school band type inspiration. I can see that definitely. Uh, I think the interaction between the Mark and the, and the chest piece is super cool. Uh, specifically, if you see the like abdomen, you can see like two spikes that almost look like teeth. That's pretty cool. I guess um, the arms are definitely going to be the piece that people use the most, I think. 
and then the boots are also super dope from the individual sets i actually use the arms the chest piece and the mark together and the boots so three pieces in, in total as well for the warlock i think the helmet is probably the best piece from the from everyone's set I, aside from maybe the hunter helmet i think that one's super cool as well but the fact that you get the um the disciple i don't remember his name from uh rolk there we go and the fact that you get rolk's helmet basically is really really cool but other than that that's it that's all the best thing like the chess piece i think is straight trash and it's not even like the extra arms i would have been i would have been super cool it, it would have been super cool if the uh, like two extra arms on the other side would have been there just because just go full on fuck i forget what the indian goddess name is but just go full on it dude just do it fucking do it um the the bondussi um got nerfed and even then like i just it's just a fucking ball bro i'm not a fan of it um boots so for the pieces i ended up using the arms the helmet and i think the boots i completely just was like fuck the chest piece i'm not using that shit but I definitely think I use the ch the boots, the arms, and the helmet. The arms actually wasn't a really cool set. I really do like that set. So be, uh, obviously, I will make these videos once I uh, have the audio for them. But again, I have already made the individual sets for these. Uh, again, I just don't like a lot of the armor in this in this raid. I think it's just like again i just think we should have gotten some like really cool nezerak inspired armor sets because i know this is like what was it in the lore we're getting nezerak disciple inspired armors but like they don't feel like that they just look like i'm i look like a fish everyone looks like a fish and i just would have preferred like some like like nezerak's helmet for like the exotic i would have just preferred like some armor that looks like that because like this just does not this is not it for me i fucking hate this armor and forever who whoever commented this right here i apologize but i fucking hate the armor i think it's trash now is there cool pieces of it yeah definitely we're gonna be looking at that when we go into the actual uh video or that portion of the video but as for how it shaders Now, as you guys can see from all of the shaders, you guys will notice that a lot of the armor are taking shaders really weird. Now, this is the other unfortunate thing that I really should have said in the armor review, but I think it made more sense to show you how it shaders first. Uh, this armor is actually classified as leather armor. So that's another really big issue because I think the biggest like problematic shader would probably be Echoed Anger. There was a lot of whites and a lot of browns and very few reds and the reds was not even like the like iconic red that echoed anger has it was more like a like a matte red and my my main gripe with this shade with 
the armor is not only the fact that it's just fucking weird like design wise it's so weird but it's also the fact that it's considered leather armor in the game because this doesn't look like leather armor it looks like actual like plate armor and when you shader it then you're like oh my god it's even it fucking shaders it shaders terribly like echoed anger does not look fucking good with it ancient wisdom i'm gonna be real with you guys i'm not the biggest fan of ancient wisdom with it granted the colors are super super dope but you do lose out on that really rich gold that ancient wisdom has abyssinian gold doesn't look great with it either especially since the glows that the membranes have is like purple and orange which is fucking weird and i've obviously the best shader will have to be cryptic insignia just because it turns everything black which is really really cool and just be aware that i do use a lot of the shade a lot of cryptic insignia in the individual sets just because it looks really really good and yeah it's just unfortunate that it takes leather armor colors because again it's just gonna look really really bad in some situations um the cool the cool interaction with photo finish is the fact that it takes shaders or it takes the glows for the crystals which is completely i was not expecting this i was actually asked by a commenter i'll have it up right now if photo finish actually changed the crystals and when i when i saw that comment i was already done with all of the video stuff i hadn't done the, the audio yet so I went in game to just to check real quick and it did. And I had to add it in because I was just like, wow, I did not notice this. And it's super cool. I unfortunately should start adding photo finish to the armor pieces, uh, specifically the armor reviews. I say unfortunately because uh, I'm not the biggest fan of photo finish. Uh, I understand why the community loves the shader. I think it's just kind of tacky personally, but yeah, it changes color. It's really, really cool. Starts with red and we go all the way to the next rotation of red and the only unfortunate part is the fact that just the leather armor just takes this really weird like green like like almost like copper has just turned green at this point i don't know again i'm just not the biggest fan of the armor i just think uh, it looks fucking trash uh as for in-game stuff let's actually look at the art okay so like here let me just let me just do this real quick um I think the helmet super dope uh, i know people are not going to be using it like this because quite frankly the ears kind of like throw me off it looks kind of goofy but for the helmet i've seen some people do some dope shit with it i've seen some someone uh in i don't remember i think it was either muffin bandits discord or crips discord or probably a video where they make a uh chinese suit from fallout it was super cool and i'm fucking sad that i don't remember where i saw it because i want to scoop that up for myself at least for my hunter but there's so many th cool things you can do with this i think it looks cool with this cloak right here um it's just again i think the cloak is going to be super dope again let me just show you guys real quick what i was talking about with the specific uh shader thing uh, if i can find a good look okay, here we go all right so you see like these like red pieces here I, i'm gonna change shader no no well i mean hopefully you guys notice it there it is so this red right here does not change color unfortunately so like the only thing you can do is like give it a really bright color like this one from vanguard consist Consti constancy constancy um give it like a really bright glow and you won't even see the the red the red is still there mind you like it's still there you just can't see it because of the bright glow but that's going to be your best bet. Get something that's super duper bright so that way it can offset the red. That's unfortunate. Uh, the other unfortunate part, which I probably should have added, is the eyes don't change color ever um, on all the classes. So just be aware of that. That's a fucking annoying as well. But let me also show you what I was talking about. I should have showed you in game or in in the armor review, but it's, it's super fast to just show you right now. So as you guys can see, completely takes the cloak off, which is super, super cool because um, this was the other cloak that did that, Legatus, which again was part of a season pass ornament, which was a while ago. So a lot of new players don't have this or a lot of people just didn't want to do it because season passes are annoying. But yeah, uh, definitely pick up the raid one because again, it's going to give you that cloakless look that a lot of people really like to do. Um, and for the cloak specifically, it's going to be right here and all this up here. So 
it's very annoying. I'm definitely not going to look at the cloak as much because I think it's straight up doo-doo butter. But for the arms, I think they're super dope. I definitely think people are going to be using this just because it's really good. Uh, the specific piece that I ended up using with this was the, let me see if I can find it real quick. This one right here. And for me, it became one of those things like, it, I connected it with this cloth right here and almost seemed like, oh, well, I'm wearing basically a jacket in my in my head. It was like a jacket. So I would be using this shader right here to turn it all black. And then there at that point, it would be like, oh, this is a jacket. And then the inside was uh, white. If I have the video, I'll have it up right now because I do think I made that video already. And in that one, I go in more depth. I'm explaining my thought process on it. But uh, chest piece i definitely don't like it it's not my favorite i don't like it like slightly I, I fucking hate the chest piece it's just not good in my opinion the only thing that kind of saves it in my opinion is the fact that it does have has this really cool like oh no that's right that's that's the that's the boots never mind uh no there's nothing good about the chest piece never mind uh the boots however i like this butt plate thing i think this is super cool and i do use this in a set i don't remember i haven't made the video because i'm looking at it right now but i don't remember what pieces i ended up using but i still like it oh i remember now i think it was yeah i remember now i was using uh yeah okay but uh yeah i think the boots are super dope uh the oh yeah again like the only thing that's annoying is the fact this looks good here's here's a situation that you could do is you could have the design like this be something cool like this and then at that point you have me again like this looks fucking cool now i'm interested in actually using this but when it like this also looks pretty dope i don't like the brown color of it but again if you can like finagle a really cool shader combination then at that point you could probably have people like okay now i'm interested like so let me see what you can do yeah like like this is like oh, okay he's cooking like i can see some dope shit coming from this but again it's it's one of those like you gotta you gotta really go through each of the shaders to find some dope shit because i think this looks super cool too so yeah I, I just at that point you're just gonna have to like really fight uh a lot of shaders to like give you a really cool combination as for the titans like i said i do think people are gonna be using this helmet for like like a high school band type shit i definitely think it looks cool I just question if I would ever use it in a set and actually feel comfortable using it. Aside from, again, using the uh, shader that we, we were talking about, the Cryptic Insignia, aside from using this shader on the whole armor set, I just don't know like how I would be comfortable using this helmet. Arms, I actually think are really, really cool, but unfortunately are also really annoying to use. I don't know how. Uh, definitely, the I, I want to say it's the coolest piece from the whole set, but I just think... The boots super are cool as well. I think the chest piece with the mark, com combining it with the mark, both of them look really, really cool. Um, it kind of sounds like I'm saying the Titan has the best armor set, which I kind of, I kind of think I am saying that. Um, surprisingly, the chest piece I think it's super cool. I love this, uh, like the collar thing is super extra, but I also love the interaction with the mark. That I think these two look really cool together. I hate the membrane on all the classes, so it's not just a Titan thing. I think the membrane just looks bad on everyone. Um, I think the boots are super dope as well. Definitely super dope. I definitely love it with Cryptic Insignia, though, just because it does look like armor, like actual armor plating instead of leather, because then we go into a shader like fucking uh, Echo Anger, and then you're just like, what the fuck is happening? But the other cool thing is you could also do some cool shit with the with the boots like the hunter where specifically if you have something like this where you have some cool color combinations then you can start to, to do some really wild shit with it but like you see like scarlet emblems one of the dopest shaders in the game um is just brown so yeah it's unfortunate titans let me know what you guys think again like i said i have a lot of pieces with this set um that i'm using in the individual pieces and if i remember correctly i think my favorite one was either the boots or the chest with the mark combination I don't remember off the top of my head, but you just have to wait for that video, I guess. And then last but not least, we have the Warlocks, which I think have the best helmet from the whole classes. I think this helmet is super dope. Definitely going to be used in a lot of sets. At least a lot of people are going to be using it. I will be definitely using it. Uh, surprisingly, though, I think the arms are super fucking cool. 
Now I did end up making this set with, I'll just show you guys a little piece of it, but I did end up using a combination of these two in that video in the individual sets and for the shading, I think it was something super dope as well. I just can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, I ended up doing these two and I think it came out super fucking cool. And I definitely really like this set because of the fact that the spikes go really well with the spikes on the chest piece. But I think, yeah, I think the arms and the, and the helmet are going to be the best pieces. I think the Bondussi is fucking trash. Definitely a meme. Uh, the boots also very usable. I actually, I, I actually did end up using the boots for the individual set pieces. And I think it looks really cool as well. So again, I think the chest piece is just like the only bad piece for in this set, just because like they could have really just given us another arm, like two arms right here. So they just go all Shiva. Is it? I think it's Shiva. Um, just go all full on goddess of war. I think she is. I don't remember. I'm not good with Indian gods and shit. Um, if it's even Indian, I do apologize, but yeah, I just think, uh, both arms should have just had that give both sides the collar. The asymmetry is hard on this one and it's fucking terrible, which is funny. Cause like the arms are symmetrical and super dope. Even the boots not symmetrical, at least shader wise, but like they are symmetrical, um, shape wise. And I think they look super dope. So the fact that they didn't give us both sides for each of the sides, just kind of like throws it off even more for me. So let me know what you guys think. I definitely had a lot of fun getting the armor because I do like the raid a lot, but unfortunately the, the fucking armor is just straight up fucking doo doo player, bro. I apologize for me cussing a lot. It's just, it's very aggravating getting armor like this. When back in the day in destiny one, we used to get armor. So cool. Like we used to basically wear our enemies as hats and, or wear our enemies ass as hats, I guess you would say. And when I look at armor like this, or even the armor from uh, Vow of the Disciple, I'm just like, bro, like, I get it. I get what you're doing, but I would have just preferred if for Vow of the Disciple, you gave us Rolk inspired armor for all the classes. And for this one, Nezrak inspired armor would have been dope as well. So that's kind of like my gripe about the armor set. Let me know what you guys think about the armor set in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys coming to this point. Let me know what you guys think about the new format. Other than that, be safe and I'll see you guys later.